Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are up at the RV manufacturer checking out the debut of the brand new 2024 Salem Grand Villa 44 View. This is a beautiful addition to the Grand Villa lineup. We're going to take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside of this RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. For many of you who have seen the videos on the 42 View, this has some of the changes and little modifications to it that you guys asked about. They are still going to produce the 42 view and just add the 44 view to the lineup for those that need these changes. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Salem Grand Villa 44 view. This is the debut of the new model. Many of you have probably seen and watched videos on the 42 view that has been the hottest selling destination trailer for the last year. Hopefully this will be a nice alternative to that model and you'll really love this one as well. So let's get started here. So a lot of similar features to the 42 view but we got some change ups that you'll really love here. So we have the same style countertop here, waterfall edge countertop, with the little ship lap back there. You also have the little LED toe kick lighting. Now the biggest change is gonna be refrigerator placement. Went from being over here to over there on the slide. So you have the large LG refrigerator right here, freezer on bottom, refrigerator part on top. That scooted the oven over a little bit and also changed up. You can see here you have three large drawers and some storage, plus that big insignia oven that everybody seems to love. And you also have that four burner cooktop. Large LG microwave with quite a bit of storage above and beside that. And also some extra storage above that refrigerator as well. Now this is another change up, having this little slide out pantry set up here. That's a pretty cool space saver right there. Still have the little bar stool set up. You got some light switches and electric switches underneath of the uh, counter there, or electric outlets. Some storage also underneath of there as well. Look at the huge windows on this thing. Power shades. TV is on the televator, so that'll go up and down. You have your Furion sound bar and your electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Now where they had the refrigerator previously, we now have the half bath that a lot of you have asked for. So right here, a little vent fan, some shelf space, a mirror, beautiful solid surface countertops throughout most of the RV, porcelain foot flush toilet, But there is the half bath that many of you have asked about. They finally did it for you. Big sliding glass entry exit door here. You have that really nice kind of spiral staircase still going up. One of your AC controls, some lights, a slide button, uh, water pump button, monitor panels for the holding tank, dimmer switch for some of your upper lights. And they now have the 60,000 BTU Suburban on-demand water heater. I'm pretty sure it's 60,000 BTUs. Uh, but it is now the on-demand water heater that some of you also asked for on the 42 view. They have now implemented that across the board into their newer models going forward. Up here, there's some TV hookups over there. Now, one thing that did change as well, we lost the third bunk mattress that was here because they had to raise the height for that half bath that everybody wanted. 
So technically you do lose a bunk, but you still have quite a bit of storage space up here. The windows up here all open. Let's crawl back in here and see what we got going on. All right, so we got electric outlet back there, USB charger ports, some little cubbies here. Another electric outlet and light switch over there. Looks like same thing back there. And then one of the Coleman ducted ACs right here. Get you a look from up top here. Now tell me in the comments down below, do you think you could tiny home live in something like this? This is pretty crazy. This is not your everyday camper. This thing is definitely a home on wheels. And speaking of wheels, you'll see when we get outside now, this one is a triple axle. Where last year's 42 view model was a double axle. So that is going to be a little different pulling wise for some of you folks that are actually traveling with these things. I know most of you typically take them and park them, but this is definitely something that with a triple axle will be a little easier for you to tow and maneuver around. Although this thing coming in as long and heavy as it is, is really meant to be a destination trailer. Down here we have the little ottoman which has some storage in it. You also have this L-shaped sofa here that will flip out and make into a bed so you could sleep a couple extra guests here. Little televator area right there, pretty cool. And even this is a really nice solid surface countertop right here. Even the top up there. Now another thing I noticed that appears to have changed from the 42 view, it had a little door that opened here. Well, now they made this kind of a solid surface counter here, it looks like, and it actually flips up for some storage down there. So that is a little bit different. Stairway stayed about the same, it looks like. Now check out this area up here. This changed up as well. So this has a queen bed up here. So this camper has a camper king in the master bedroom, a queen bed up here, and two bunks. So I think this is probably one of the only RVs that I've seen in a destination trailer that has a king, queen, and little bunk mattresses. Over there, you have a couple drawers that pull out, some more counter space, USB charger ports, electric outlets up here. There's also TV hookups over there. This thing is super cool. And then right down here at the foot of the steps, you're gonna have a central vac with the dustpan vac feature as well. Bathroom area, very similar to the 42 view. So you have that glassed sliding shower door there, little sit down seat, step in tub area. Really nice shower head setup. And then you can do the stackable washer dryer if you want. That is another really nice feature to consider if you're gonna extended stay or full time in one of these type of things. If you don't do the washer dryer, it's just a big closet. Little vent fan back there. Electric box with the breakers and fuses, some linen space 
little drawer and flip down like sponge holder thingy there. Nicely done on the sink area here. That changed up a little bit as well. A little motion light down there too. Porcelain foot flush toilet. This unit having that double drop frame, one in the front, one in the back section, just really allows for a lot of uh, uniqueness to the floor plan setup. A little pivot hinge door action going on there. Now this one is Lippert Thin Shade ready on your door here. You'll see the door changed up a little bit on the outside when we get out there as well. But check this thing out. What a beautiful addition to the Salem lineup, this 44 view model. Hopefully this checks a lot of the boxes that you guys were asking for on the 42 view model. All right, now let's check out this master bedroom area right here. So we have some little cubbies right outside the bedroom door entrance there. Then here we have the camper king bed right here. So you have some storage underneath of there that'll actually raise up. There's storage above your bed as well. You do have the little uh, end table on the left side there, electric outlet, USB charger ports. So we have a mirror on the left side here. Then you obviously have three more mirrors there, but those are actually cabinet uh, doors that open up. So you have some storage, hanging closet space there, little drawer space, and an electric fireplace down there as well. You have four drawers, full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers right there that pull out, giving you quite a bit of space. TV hookups here as well, so you could set your TV in this area if you wanted to. Let's step back here, just check this out. Look at all of this view space here. That has manual roller shades in the bedroom area, but you do have those power ones outside. Now this bed is on the little televator button here. So back in behind here, again another pivot door here, you have one of your AC controls, light switch, and then you have the Versa tilt bed right here as well. So all you gotta do is push the button, and this does raise up. Now I do occasionally get a question about why is it not close to the bed, this button? And that is because they really don't want you on the bed, kind of surfing on it while it's going up and down. Uh, they would prefer that you put it in up mode and then be able to sit on it and actually watch TV or something, read a book, whatever you might want to do. All right, let's head to the outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Salem Grand Villa 44 view destination trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have the white fiberglass exterior with the lower black metal skirting. As you can obviously see, tons of windows on this side of the RV. They're deep tent safety glass windows right here. You have a large power awning, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. You do have a double entry here. So you have a sliding glass entry door, again, that deep tent safety glass door, large folding entry handle there as well. 
You have the traditional hover style steps, which are rated for about 300 pounds. This one was ordered with those optional stabilizer jacks. Some of you guys want to use the stabilizers. Some of you like to block them and then tie them down. It does have tie down strap hooks on it. So you could purchase some tie downs aftermarket and strap the thing down. Some campgrounds prefer them strapped down, some don't really care. So depending on where you're located. Now one of the big changes for this model on the outside wise was it is now a triple axle unit. So for some of you guys that are actually trying to tow these things around, that's going to be a big improvement for you here. Uh, you basically have a steel wheel, um, drum brakes, easy lube hubs. You have two outdoor speakers. There is cable outlet and an electric outlet here. And then this bar right here is where you can hang the little outside table on there as well. Now you can see that popping up in the picture right there. Pretty cool little setup. You also have, again, nice LED light strip. It's a little hard to see during the daytime, but there's that little foot in the middle up there as well. You also notice the little black graphic that they added in between the windows there, just to, again, kind of make it look a little bit different than the 42 view on the outside. Traditional RV entry door you're seeing on this exact one. However, it is going to that black glass, safety glass door. You can see that popping up in the picture on the Wildwood version. Actually, let's spin around here real quick. You can kind of see that right over there, the Wildwood Lodge version. Wildwood and Salem are sister products. They run down the same assembly lines as each other and are basically same thing, a little bit different graphic on it. But that one was built just after this one, and it got the glass door before that Salem over there did. But same basic camper. They also changed up the back of the frame a little bit. We are going to bounce to the other side here since we can't really squeeze through here real quick. We'll be right back. All right, bouncing onto the back here, you can see a traditional flat back fiberglass rear end here. There's a little vent fan coming out the back and your cable outlet also coming out the back as well. Traditionally, you would have your 50 amp detachable power cord coming out here, but right now they're using a little jumper extension cord just to power it up for me so we could do this video for you guys. You have a hot and cold outside utility shower here. You have that new on-demand water heater here as well. And then there is a little door right there that is locked and I don't know what's behind there. I will figure that out though and let you know. Right down there is one of your dump areas. And then you also have another dump area back here coming out the side of the frame. Hot and cold low point water drains. Another little dump area right down there. Again, black tank flush, outside utility shower right there, so you can really kind of clean up any accidental messes you might make. Slide toppers on both rooms here, nice feature. Shades the room, repels a lot of water, leaves twigs, debris, that type of stuff. Just a nice little bonus feature that they put on these grand villas. Stove exhaust vent right out there. You have another vent fan for that half bath up top there. You have your furnace exhausting out right here. You have your gravity fill fresh water tank, city water connection, black tank flush. And then we have another drain right here. There is also a little drain handle there which runs to the back area. Then right down there, it's gonna be another storage compartment underneath your bed area. And as you've seen inside, there are a lot of windows in this bedroom here, just looking out over the front and the awning and door side. Got a little overhang right there. You do have your gas bottles underneath the hard cover right here. Manual tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains right there. 
This also has a little area for battery. There's a breakaway cable there as well. But overall, a really cool addition to the Salem Grand Villa lineup here, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you like the 44 view or do you prefer the 42 view? Let me know. Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch these RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They're definitely going to save you a lot of money on a new RV. Thanks again.